hey guys welcome to my channel my name is me and on today's video guys uh this will totally be a vlog because i want to take you guys through uh our preparation because we are planning our civil wedding and we started today so i'll be sharing our preparation process and everything on my channel so i'll be starting this vlog today and now so if you want to learn how to prepare for your civil wedding uh, or the things to know about civil wedding or what it costs for a civil wedding please kindly keep watching this video in as much as we might not be in the same city because i am currently in asaba that is delta state in nigeria so if you want to learn how to do that or if you want to learn how the process is being done have an idea of what it takes to prepare for your civil wedding please keep watching this video so we went to one local government called Oshimini South yes in Delta State actually in Asaba so we we got there and let me read out the list of things that we were asked to bring so actually I never knew civil weddings i know civil weddings are affordable but i never knew it's this affordable we are giving two tiny notes to okay let me read it out so first of all we were asked to bring affidavits of bachelorhood and spinsterhood bachelorhood for my husband and spinsterhood for myself so we have to bring three passports photograph each three each that's the total of six their marriage fee of 10,000 naira and this marriage fee is either you bring it cash or you go to the bank and pay then bring the receipts to them you do not transfer to the account you either pay into the account to the bank yes and bring them the receipts so the next thing that we are asked to bring is admin fee of 3000 naira i don't know whether it's admission fee or whatever but it's written admin fee of 3000 naira and the things i've read so far is a total of 13000 naira so the next thing the next paper that was given to us and that is the things we are supposed to bring to that place aside from the fee the money we are going to pay so that is one bottle of pure heaven wine one carton of canned big malt one carton of maltina two bottles of granite two packets of cabin biscuits that is the second one that we are asked to bring so is either you bring cash or you bring all of them the day of your civil wedding so definitely we are we are going to give them cash for everything so this is a total of twenty three thousand naira wow i never knew civil weddings can be this affordable so today we actually decided to do the affidavit for bachelorhood and spinsterhood so they directed us to where we are gonna do it so we actually went for inquiry but we, we ended up doing the affidavit which is much better it will be less stressful for us the next time we we'll go there for the registration so they directed us to where we will go to which is even at the back of that place but in as much as the place is very very close to the registry it took uh, about hours to be done and which is a very good thing that we did it today so we paid the total of three thousand naira for bachelorhood and spinsterhood which is one one five so they will give you the affidavit which you use and go back to the registry and with the ten thousand naira and the three thousand naira and register for your civil wedding so if you find this video helpful and if you want to learn more things and see the process that we are gonna go through or we've gone through please keep watching this vlog hello guys on this day we went back to the registry to register for our civil wedding and i'm walking in there with my hobby so guys we're actually done uh registering and we've paid made the payments that is needed it's supposed to stay like 21 days before we can come for everything so, so when i get home i will tell you guys other things that we are asked to bring bye if you are in a Saba delta state this is the coolest place to have your civil wedding yes hey my love so guys we are back 
we just go home and we've registered and okay we've registered we've paid for everything we literally paid for everything and we were asked to come for swearing of affidavit on 19th of april so they said if we come on that day we will come with 1000 naira for that and if we want to exchange rings that will pay extra 10,000 naira total of 11,000 naira so but if you don't want to exchange rings on that day you should come with only 1000 naira which is making a total of 24,000 naira that is without uh without exchange of rings the initial video i made i think i didn't actually see the total of what we spent it was the total of 23,000 naira total of 23,000 naira yes so the total of 23,000 naira 10,000 naira for that you have to pay to the bank then admission fee 3,000 naira then they said is either you bring the stuff they need or you pay 10,000 naira so we actually pay so that was the, that is the total of 23,000 naira which we paid today then they now gave us the dates that will come for swearing of affidavits and we, they said that on that 19th of april we should come with 1000 naira for that then if we want to exchange rings that will pay 10,000 naira apart from that 1000 naira for swearing of affidavits so it's optional so if you want to do it you pay 10,000 naira if you do not want total is the total of 24,000 naira yes but we actually want to exchange rings there so they told us to cover nights for swearing of affidavits and the following day will be the civil wedding so they're gonna do it with other people so people that registered the time we did all of us are coming on that 20th of april so guys <laughs> even if you're not in the same state as i am which is asaba you still will learn one or two things about a civil wedding and how the process is being done it will help you to prepare also even if it's not the same state so guys see you hey guys so how are you all doing so guys i want to take you guys through the process of making my civil wedding dress yes i don't want to make the maid since i can sew i have the privilege to sew whatever i want and make it so beautiful as much as i want so i i've gotten what i needed i'm already so this is a picture of all i want it will be showing on the screen right now so i'm going to show this upper part yes a bit of the upper part uh, and this is what i'll be using i want to make it a yoke just like you can see on the picture and um this is what i'll be using i'll be making use of this it's called the fabric is called Meccano. Yes, that's what I want to use. And this is the lining. And this is called the clothing one. I'm so sorry. This is called the clothing one. So, I'll take you guys through the process of making this beautiful dress step by step. Time is 8.48 in the morning. So, let me take you guys through the process. But, you know, I'm going to cut it if I fix it so that it won't be so boring for you guys. So, if you see my post for the breakfast, I'm in here with me, I'm a tailor, a serial entrepreneur, and um, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit the like button, and please keep bringing the subscription coming. Like, keep subscribing, guys. Let's get this channel to 1k. Thank you so much, you guys. Work with me. Tear us apart and bury me. All in my head alone Calling your name but only feel the cold I sense the change in energy All of my fuse is blown If I Feel the 
cold I sense the change in energy All of my fuse is blown If I So on this day we went to shop for my hobby's outfit, his suit and shirt and as I was waiting for him I saw this fine clean mirror. I decided to take some few snaps. Yes, okay. So before we head back home I decided to do that. So guys we are back and we got a white shirt for his suit. Yes and we got a suit. Yeah, you got a suit and it's quite nice. I'm not gonna open it. You guys will see it all that day. Yeah. So guys, this is all we got. So see ya. So guys, I just came back from the market. Hey my loves, how are you all doing? So I just came back from the market. It's like if you can see my face, I look so tired, I look so exhausted, but I am telling you stress got nothing on me because I don't know i'm so overwhelmed with everything so today is the 18th of april and next tomorrow is 20th which will be our civil wedding yes and i got some few things from the market you guys i actually wanted to braid my hair but i had a change of heart or a change of mind whatever it is i just go for an affordable wig which has a frontal like i want to have a different look so i got this affordable hair from the market actually this is what took me to the market this thing on one other thing took me to the market so i got this hair from the market so i got the frontal separately and i got the packet hair separately and the both of them the frontal is 15k while the packet hair is 15k the total of 30k and it got wigged for 2000 naira right there in the market that was actually what took my time yeah so this is it actually is either i go to a salon tomorrow for them to fix it for me or i don't know <laughs> do whatever that needs to be done with this tomorrow or i i watch videos because i am so busy i have to make an outfit for some other thing so i am so so busy i don't know whether i will have the chance and we were asked to come tomorrow for exchange of rings so i don't know whether it's gonna take so much of our time so if i don't get to go to the salon tomorrow that means on 20th in the morning i will do it myself i'll watch some few videos on youtube and i i am sure i can do this myself so i have got to be free spray which will help me to do this to lay down this frontal so but i just try my best to go to the salon for them to do it themselves but if not i'll do this myself then the next thing that i got was this stuff which is sweat and oil barrier yeah i decided to make myself up and the oil barrier and sweat block that i have i don't think it's original it's not working and i sweat a lot so i went to the market to get it which is adventure sweat and oil barrier so after which i got for 3k yes i got this for 3000 naira so aside from this i got a revamp brush yes the one i have i don't think i like it anymore I got a ribbon brush then i've got this band for laying my edges and fixing that frontal and again i got this like because i do not like fixing my nails while walking while sewing since i have a lot of things to still sew tomorrow 
I decided to not go to the salon to fix my nails to to do anything on my nails then i got this press on nails i got this press on nails for 1k and it's actually short and simple it's nice and i love it so i can i will fix this very early on 20th yes while fixing my hair so this is it if you can see it very well it's very simple and nice like it's my kind of thing yeah so guys the next thing i got was this lock and twist gel for my natural hair and i also got a, a leave-in conditioner yes i got this i think this one is 800 naira then i got this one for 700 naira and the last but not the least i got this goji berry like this is a facial cream i've seen a lot of youtubers use use this and they give a review that it's quite nice and i tried to try it out i've been looking for this i looked for it in Shoprite. i look for it uh in everyday gaps but each time i go there they'll say it just finished so i tried to look for it in the market and i got it for 1500 so i'm gonna try this and if it's nice i'm gonna give you guys my review so guys i'm definitely gonna stop this vlog here because i wouldn't want my 19th which is tomorrow and 20th to be on this vlog because it's gonna be so long which i do not want so i'll be stopping this vlog here so guys if you're new to my channel kindly subscribe like this video if you're a returning subscriber thank you i love you so please if you want to see how tomorrow which is nice it will be asked to come tomorrow so and you want to see how our civil wedding went please keep watching videos of my channel turn on post notification to get notified whenever i post new videos so guys once again my name is me and see you guys on my next vlog bye